they have one drug of choice. And why don't you explain to folks what the drug of choice is for men? It's Channel Mom with Jenny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. I, I, when I hear women talk about the men in their lives, I think so many of them um, are, are potentially angry with the men or angry uh, with their behavior but don't really understand what's going on with a man, um, not excusing horrible behavior. So if there's a woman out there who, who has a husband who's abusive, I'm not excusing that. But I am saying, I think, I think so often we, we don't understand man. And we went through a thing in the 60s where it wasn't okay to be a, a, a guy's guy anymore, that, that you were just supposed to kind of shift over to this whole mentality that it's better to be more feminized. I, I'm just going to say that because I think it's true. And, and so men, are yeah. really, they don't even know how to be like men but because they're also supposed to be feminine, but they're not supposed to be too sensitive so they can't admit their problems. I mean, it, it, the, what the pressure they're under, and, and I think they're unwilling to say so because they have one drug of choice. And why don't you explain to folks what the drug of choice is for men? Sure. Well, I think guy, you know, guys, since the dawn of man, really, when they, when they get frustrated or they get hurt, they tend to withdraw. And so isolation is the drug of choice. When I, they, isolation is the drug of want, choice. Isolation. Yeah, they don't want to. They don't want to appear weak. They don't want to appear confused. They don't want to appear like they don't know what to do, and so they just withdraw from everything, and uh, and and try to deal with it on their own. So a lot, there's a lot of guys walking around that look great on the outside. They they put a mask on. They put some kind of a hard shell on, and they're presenting to the world a, a picture of a guy that's just fine. Um, but but underneath it all, they, they really don't have a clue of what's going on. And, and what's worse, they just they don't know what to do about it. And so what? So so how would this manifest? So if there's a woman, a mom, um, many moms hopefully listening to this and saying, I think I think you're touching on something about the men in my life, or about my husband, or about my son. Wh- what would it manifest like to them? And maybe they think they're just being jerks. <laughs> well, sometimes they are. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I don't want to excuse bad behavior. Uh, in general, but you know, a lot of a lot of the things that we talk about, like the video games or pornography or or workaholism, those are all really coping mechanisms that guys have. When you feel out of control, you try to find something that you can be in control of, and and it's not like a it's not like an intentional thing or a conscious thing. You're not walking around going, you know, I think my life is out of control, so I think I'll look at stuff on the internet. It's really more of you, you you're living your life and, and you come across different things at different times and, and you realize that sometimes you feel better when you're out on the basketball court and so you join a basketball league and play four nights a week or you realize that you feel good when you're at work and so you work 45 hours a week and then 55 hours a week and then 65 hours a week. It's For most guys, it's not one major decision. You know, no, no guy wakes up in the morning and decides to screw his life up. You know, No guy wakes up and goes, I wonder how I can disappoint my boss or make my wife angry with me today or neglect my kids today. It's just a series of little decisions that keep stacking one on top of the other. And for a lot of guys, if they're not really paying attention to what's going on, and especially if they don't have anyone to talk to about it, they can sometimes find themselves down a road that they never intended to go down, but they really don't know how to go back. 